Luckily, it's not all doom and gloom. Nestling in amongst the tower blocks is a group of brummy boys preparing to bring facial hair, glitter and goodwill to the nation. This is Roy Wood. Inner Wood. Mental. Well, I first liked him when he'd done See My Baby Jive and me and my sister was on holiday with Mum and Dad at Clacton Butlins. Roy Wood, real name Roy Wood, had already been a pop star in the 60s with a band called The Move. He also founded 70s stadium fillers, the Electric Light Orchestra. But it was the visionary lunacy of Wizard and a song he wrote in the summer of 73 that was to be his enduring legacy. I thought, well, you know, for the past few years, the, the, the Christmas hits have been very strange, no, no proper, like, really rock and roll stuff or anything. Uh, I thought, it's about time we had, we had a rock and roll Christmas record. Actually, when we first heard it, it was just another Roy song, and when he plays his songs to you, because he actually stands in the room and sings it straight at your face, uh, it, it's a moving experience. Beard, glitter and bobble hats everywhere. But one crucial Christmas ingredient was missing. Roy needed some children. Happily, help was at hand. Bill, the piano player, knew this choir. Uh, he, Bill had been a teacher. I'm not sure whether they were from his old school, but he, it was his connection. We had a very big choir and um, Mr Powell asked us, well, we was all there and he asked us to go and sing to this man who was playing the piano in the music room, one by one. And we later found out it was uh, the, the maths teacher's brother-in-law, um, Bill Hunt, and that's who we were singing to. So a couple of days passed and we, we still didn't know what was going on, and one by one we got pulled out to say that it was going to be on this song, which was very exciting. I forget how many kids there were now. Um, we took four band members with us and uh, just to get them talking and to get them into it. We had the, the back of the bus was full of, full of pop and crisps and all that sort of stuff and, you know, creating Newcastle Brown for the band, you know, and all that. And uh, we got, by the time we got down there, it's as if they really knew us, you know. But the West Midland Urchins only ever made it onto vinyl. Savage Christmas show union laws meant their place on telly was ruthlessly seized by cuties who were but a short limousine ride from their London stage school. I was the one with the balloon. Sex. No, no, not a Same with the video. Same with the That's video. It. Nothing. Seven pounds and they're still playing it every Christmas. That's it. We don't even guess a new sex. No. I mean, I guess. <laughs> You well, you're right. Well, uh, right. sort of. Just he's, about. He's not showing up this morning. He's got a tummy bug, but he's going to sing despite <laughs> having vomited. So I wish it could be Christmas <laughs> every day. Roy Wood. It may not have topped the charts, but 26 years on, it's still a song no self-respecting Christmas party should be without. A song that the great and the good and the not so great and the not so good dance to every year. Go on, girl, give it some. With the success of that record, it's very difficult for me to go Christmas shopping because every time I walk into a store, you know, it goes on, doesn't it? And then everybody's looking at you and it's all that. And you just can't concentrate. Your attention, please. Customer announcement. Could Roy Wood please make their way to the meat counter, please? Thank you. I was walking around Asda with my trolley, you know, like you do, and Santa came up to me and said, uh, <coughs> He said, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you've always been my hero. <laughs> and I went, dang, it was brilliant. All together. Well, I wish it could be Christmas every day. We tend to be nicer to people at Christmas. Wouldn't it be nice to be like that all the year round? 